the love that parents show to their children is often viewed as truly selfless and unconditional. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case for Rebecca's parents, who treated her as if she didn't exist. However, circumstances eventually changed. Rebecca's story offers important lessons about life. When Rebecca entered her parents' lives, they were unprepared for the arrival of a baby. Having just graduated from university, they believed her birth would be a major setback to their dreams and happiness. They were more focused on building their careers than on the responsibilities of parenthood. After much deliberation, her parents chose to have the child instead of opting for an abortion. When little Rebecca was born, they handed her over to her grandparents, who took on the responsibility of raising her. After a while, her inexperienced parents got well-paying jobs, which meant they could settle down. So they decided it was time for their baby to stay with them. You would expect that since they were more settled, they would at least take care of their daughter and share some love, right? Unfortunately, this was not the case. Rebecca was treated as though she had never existed. She wasn't given the love and attention she deserved. You can imagine how Rebecca must have felt. Her parents kept their focus on their successful businesses and hired a nanny to take care of her. This meant they were not always there for their daughter, shifting all their parental responsibilities to the nanny. The girl's parents were more concerned about their business. Beautiful Rebecca remained their only child until her mother became pregnant again when Rebecca was five. This time, her parents were thrilled because it was a pregnancy they wanted. They eagerly anticipated the birth of their second daughter. After months passed, they welcomed their second daughter, Stephanie, into their home. Everyone was excited about the new baby girl. However, not long after Stephanie was born, Rebecca's grandparents sadly passed away. Stephanie was cherished by her parents, who showered her with love and full attention. By this time, Rebecca was old enough to think for herself, and she was a very independent child. She reflected on the situation and wondered why her younger sister was cared for and given everything she wanted, while she was not. This made her sad because all she ever wanted was to be loved by her indifferent parents. Who wouldn't want to be loved by their parents? The next experience Rebecca had with her parents removed any doubt about their feelings toward her. After she completed elementary school, she was going to have an end-of-year school party to celebrate her achievements. The timid girl approached her parents and asked them to buy her a new dress. Her parents reluctantly gave her some money and told her something that broke her heart. Go to the store and get something for yourself, they said. But she wanted to share the experience with her parents. The next day, Rebecca went to the store to get a dress. But along the way, she saw her parents with expensive clothes they had bought for her younger sister. She approached them, but they barely acknowledged her. The girl was heartbroken and cried because she realized her parents didn't love her. Despite her plight, she still loved her parents and believed that one day, maybe they would love her back. Would this ever happen? Well, you'll find out soon enough. Her relationship with her sister, Stephanie, was not great either. Rebecca had to endure lots of hardship from her parents. As the years went by, she had to take care of herself, while her younger sister grew up spoiled and arrogant. However, things improved for Rebecca after she graduated with honors and received a scholarship to study far from home. This scholarship also came with paid accommodation. Well-deserved, isn't it? Before moving out, Rebecca returned home to pack her things, but her parents and younger sister didn't even notice that she was leaving. It wasn't until a few days later that her mother called, asking where she was. Rebecca replied, Mom, I said that I was going to another city for college. Rather than asking about her well-being, her mom responded coldly. She told Rebecca that since she was no longer staying with them, she wanted to give her room to the maid. As you can imagine, the poor girl was stunned. She realized she no longer had a space at home and didn't argue with her mom. Instead, she said, Mom, I accept everything you do. I love you. A few years later, her younger sister graduated from high school. To get into university, Rebecca's parents had to pay a huge sum of money to one of the most prestigious universities in the country to help Stephanie gain admission, something they would never do for Rebecca. Since Rebecca was away, she rarely saw her family, and when she did visit, it was clear no one missed her, and they weren't happy to see her. Despite this, she still cared for her family. 
A few years later, Rebecca graduated from university as one of the top students. Due to her excellent grades, a well-known company offered her a job with a good salary. Things were finally looking up for her, despite the strained relationship with her family. After a while, Rebecca found out that her parents were on the brink of bankruptcy. It was her mom who informed her of the situation. Rebecca was happy to hear from her mother, even though she didn't ask how Rebecca was doing. Instead, her mom immediately told her that their company was on the verge of collapse and that they needed money to sustain their business. She begged Rebecca not to let them down. When kind-hearted Rebecca heard her mom's words, she was touched. It was an emotional moment for her. The next day, she rushed to the nearest bank and sent her parents a huge sum of money. She called home to check if they had received the money and to see how they were doing. However, no one answered. A week later, her father called, demanding more money. He told her that the money she sent earlier wasn't enough. Rebecca was willing to send her parents more money, but before doing so, she wanted to know how they were doing. They wouldn't tell her, so she checked her family's social media. What she saw next made her burst into uncontrollable tears. She couldn't find her parents, but she easily found her younger sister. In one of Stephanie's uploaded pictures, she saw her father with a beer in one hand, standing next to the car he had told Rebecca he had sold. In another picture, her sister was having fun in a luxurious restaurant with their mother. The pictures were recent and were uploaded after Rebecca had sent them the money. Rebecca was heartbroken. She couldn't fathom that the family she cared for so deeply was deceiving her. She resolved not to send them any more money. A week later, her mother called, inquiring why she hadn't sent more. With a heavy heart, Rebecca told her mother that she would no longer be sending anything. Her mother was taken aback and reminded her that they were family. But are they? Rebecca ended the call, and although she felt unhappy about not helping them, she knew she was making the right decision. She changed her phone number to prevent any unnecessary calls from her family. Unfortunately, her family was forced to sell all their properties in an attempt to save their business. In the end, they were unsuccessful and lost everything, now living in a small apartment with Stephanie, who was unable to graduate from university. If only they had shown their elder daughter a bit more love and attention. Rebecca came to accept that her parents never loved her and ultimately severed all ties with them. Nevertheless, she still cares for them despite the hurtful things they do. Rebecca's heartbreaking story serves as a reminder that parents, regardless of the circumstances, should always love their children equally. I'm really keen to know your thoughts on this story, so please don't hesitate to share your insights in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and found it engaging, I invite you to subscribe to our channel for more similar content. Feel free to share this video, take good care of yourselves, and I'm excited to connect with you in our future videos.